Good morning guys, it's Friday morning. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day and it's for some reason it's not as warm. I think it's supposed to be about 88 or 89 degrees today instead of nearly 100 like it was yesterday. My wife and I uh, yesterday went on just riding around for a little bit, went to uh, on the 411 yard sale. There wasn't a whole lot set up yesterday, it being Thursday. But there might be some today, so I might uh, make a video of that if we decide we're going to go on it today. Uh, I'm always looking for car and truck parts, so, but it was just so hot yesterday. I'll tell you what, it, it was really hot, but you know what? Once again, I know y'all's tired of me saying this, I'd rather have hot as cold any time, but that's just me, and my wife feels the same way, and Everybody's wanting winter time to show up, but you know what, not me. Anyway, I've said that too many times, and I apologize. But, oh, before I forget, uh, on the donation can that I made a uh, video of, a, several videos back, maybe a week ago or so, and I had all the change uh, out of my donation can laid out uh, in the back of old Dookie. I apologize for the plane. I honestly do think that they're giving flying lessons. I'm not too far from an airport, and uh, it's getting louder and louder. But anyway, let me let this thing go by. I see it through the trees. Maybe you get a peek of it. I think they do flying lessons over there, and I wish I could afford to do that, but I can't afford that. So anyway... And getting back to this, the donation can, I had all the change laid out in the back, the bed of old Dookie. And uh, I think I guess three, I think I guess three dollars and seventy six cents. I haven't watched the video since I posted it. But uh, I had a YouTube subscriber that guessed ten dollars. And I thought, man, and as far as I know, he was the closest one. So congratulations to you. And I will say winner, winner, chicken dinner, because you missed it by 36 cents. Somehow I have misplaced my donation can that I've had all these years. And I'm hoping my wife hasn't accidentally thrown it away. Because we've been cleaning out the garage last week, if you'll remember. And I uh, wanted to hang on to that can. But uh, she said something about throwing it away. So I'm hoping she didn't. But anyway, there's always more cans if she did. Anyway, I don't think she did. But the point of this video is, is, uh, you know, last night on the videos, my wife and I went over to Tim Dixon's at Gas Axe Chop Shop on Facebook. Please go check him out. Gas Axe Chop Shop in 10 Mile, Tennessee. He makes some beautiful motorcycles, builds them himself. Really awesome and talented individual. And once again, I'm proud to say he's my friend. But this is the, getting back to this, this is the old shifter out of my 71 Chevy C10 that I named Big Turd. This is it. And if you'll remember, it got hung up in reverse. And you really had to be gentle with it, shifting, taking your time and stuff like that. So uh, I told Tim, it got hung up in reverse. And I said, Tim, would you mind to put a shifter in it for me? I said, just get the best you can afford. I said, I don't want to get out on the road somewhere and have problems with it. So uh, he got this uh, Hearst shifter. I'm not sure of the model number. If you'll remember, uh, Big Turd is a three-speed in the floor. I wish it was on the column like it was born with, but it's not. I don't have all the linkage or anything like that. I don't really have the money to put it back like it was. So I'm the kind of guy that if it'll run, stop, and you know go when you want it to you know start up good i'm pretty happy i'm not in a race to be any place or anything like that oh i, did, I just not seen that this is for trucks so anyway tim got the best one he could find her shifter that's a name brand uh shifter been doing them for years if you're uh if you're like me and you don't know everything i'm just telling you this is a name brand shifter uh it's not an aftermarket and uh Back in the day, Tim and I were talking yesterday when I when I wasn't filming, 
over there. We's cutting up and having a good time, but used to, you know, you got a, a, a handle, uh, you know, you could say which, how I many, uh, speed transmission or whatever, but all this stuff now you got to order. They don't even give you a, a rubber boot anymore, and I remember the day, I've had several three speeds and four speeds, you know, and they would give you the rubber boot and stuff, but it just goes to show how things have changed, but, uh, you know, that's just, just a sign of the times. But anyway, I was, I was asking Tim, because if you watch my channel, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a body man. I've attempted body work. I'm not very good in it. I'm trying to be uh, a self-taught individual. But you can watch my video of old Dookie several, maybe a couple of months back, where I was trying to put a little Bondo on a fender on my 78 Chevy truck I call Old Dookie and I kind of really I kind of really messed it up pretty good so I'm not a body man I'm not a mechanic some things I can do but there's a lot of things I cannot so I try to leave it to individuals that know what they're doing which would be Tim and some other friends of mine that, that I count on to help me on stuff that I don't know much of which is I'm pretty much calling them all the time Getting back to this, I was asking Tim what was wrong with this thing that it didn't want to shift. And what he said is this stuff is, he said it's probably been shifted a million times. All this stuff is just wore out. Now, you know, when you move, when you move this rod, it goes into, let's see, I'm trying to do this. It's kind of hard to do one handed, but it, it would just get, it would just get hung up here and wouldn't wouldn't do nothing when you tried to shift it I can't explain why I don't know it, other than he said it's where it goes in is really wore out said so it's supposed to be kind of round and it's not he said it's all wallered out and he's sorry for the plane uh, he told me it's probably been shifted gears a million times so that was what was wrong with it I was just curious I thought maybe it was the alignment on the the linkage here you know and I, I didn't know but anyway it's this it's all it's all in here and all you mechanics that work on stuff uh, yourselves or mechanics that works on other people's stuff you're probably laughing because I'm so dumb but I'm just I'm I guess I'm kind of making this video for myself and other people that don't know maybe what's wrong with their transmission or, you know a shift and manual shifter or whatever you know so Anyway, I don't mean to sound stupid, but you know, you don't know unless you ask or try to learn from someone. So Tim was kind enough to kind of show me what all was wrong with this one. And I thanked him for getting this, this one here. It should be a good one. I'm hoping uh, he, I didn't show this in the video last night, but he had to cut a hole in the floorboard. Uh, he'd already patched it, the floorboard that had a hole in it. On the driver's side he had to cut a bigger hole in it to get the shifter and all to work there's a lot of things i didn't show you from last night because uh you know i was, I was doing other things we went out in the in tim's barn and tried to find a better seat for a uh, big turd and maybe we found one i don't know I, i'm hoping to ch maybe change the seat out i'm going to buy a seat from Tim, it needs some rear postering, but then again, I think it's better than what's in it. If I can get the shifter, if I can get the shifter to, uh, see, this is a for a bench seat truck because it's, it's bent like this. So the, the thing is, coming back in, uh, say, like first or third or whatever, uh, it's going to come up next to your seat, and I, I need... That's kind of critical. I need enough room for the shifter to go back. So I don't know really what's going to happen if I have to wind up using the seat I've got in it or if, or if the one Tim has in mind that might work. It's not going to be the prettiest seat, but it's better than what's in it, I, I believe. it's You know, it needs reupholstered and stuff. And as time goes on, I might let his wife, Angie Dixon, who is an expert upholsterer, uh, redo the seat for me if we can find one that works a little better but anyway that's where we're at now as i said i didn't mean to bore you this thing has been in this old truck for a long time and, uh, 
Anyway, I, like I said, I didn't mean to bore you. I just going to tell you what was wrong with it and why it was hung up in reverse and why they had to back it out of the garage. But the funny thing is, uh, it said out there, if you watched the video from yesterday, the grass was almost dead from where it had been sitting out there a few weeks, and it's been hot as blue blazes around here. So uh, Tim got in it and messed with it a little bit and uh, got it to go in the first. So, you know, it all depends on what kind of mood the shifter was in. So I'm real glad just to get a new one in it. I don't want to have any troubles. And uh, I don't know what I'll do with this one, but I just wanted to point out what was wrong with it. Some of y'all might have been curious or, or knew already, but I did not. And I didn't mean to make this video so long, but I was just going to give you an update on my 71 Chevy C10 truck, big turd. And uh, before I close this, I was wanting to tell you too, uh, after my wife and I got home, uh, he sent some pictures where he's been patched, he's already patched up uh, the fender and stuff. There was some bad spots in the front fenders and stuff and he's already patched up some and he i think he's going to stay on it till he gets it done unless something rolls in it you know emergency or something which happens quite a bit tim's a pretty popular guy so but hopefully he'll get it all done and i'll make some more videos of it and hopefully i can bring it home here in the next few days i'm hoping you know uh if nothing goes wrong anyway didn't mean to make it so long i appreciate you watching the videos and I know I'm not the smartest bulb in the smartest. There, see, there you go. I'm not the brightest bulb in the room. But I do my best, and that's all you can ask for, isn't it? Appreciate Y'all have a good day. Happy Friday to you. Hope y'all hope everything's going good for you, and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, please give me a thumbs up. Hey, I got it right that time. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Share this with your friends. And If anything, my videos are good for laughing at because I don't know... Most of the time what I'm talking about. Y'all have a good one. See you later.